All right, well, this is kind of like a hard video to make because this is going to be our last time in this theater, in the Spare Change Theater. That's true. We've reached milestones together. 300 subscribers, 1,000, 3,000 subscribers, all the way to 100,000. Thank you, guys. The giveaways. For the giveaways. The early giveaways. Which netted us nothing, but we did it anyways. I wanted all of us to come back in the same environment, in the same state of mind. Yeah. Same state of mind as it was when it was, when it was first started. <laughs> when it was first started, this is the same state of mind, man. By that, we mean, you know, a little bit inebriated. Somebody might ask, well, why the drink? Why the drink? Doesn't matter. We're dealing with items that you would dream to deal with. I'm not even sure if we drank on camera. I didn't think we just looked like we drank, we drank on camera. Yeah, it was like this yeah. thing. It was Did like we? this thing that came out of nowhere, and we're like, whoa, don't you drink too? Dude, we used to make a point of putting our beers on camera. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, it's been so long, I don't even remember. You know, there's the infamous Star Wars review. The Rogue One. Yeah, Rogue One. Rogue One, one is one of the best. Rogue One on Spare Change slash Shane Lee channel. That's one of the best 4K Blu-ray DVD reviews that you're ever going to see. I am one with the Force. The, the force, force is one with me. me. I am one with the Force. The Force, the force is, is one with me. me. Guys. I am one with the Force. The Force is one with me. Welcome to Spare Change. <laughs> Physical media is dead by this point. I know that. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's gotta be it's gotta be. I'm at the point where I want to sell all my stuff. Dude, every every time you make a prediction, <laughs> it's wrong. Shut up. <laughs> Yo, chill. This one is right. Physical media is dead. Nobody give a fuck about physical media. All right, need 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 Shane and I remind you of your your how much you used to love sound bars, and then you discovered real sound, real audio. That's true. 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 All right, we'll continue on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the physical media will always have a presence with hardcore fanboys and collectors and people that want the best possible you know, picture quality. Because you just you can't. Streaming is good, but I mean, there's just too many variables in streaming. You know, solid media is always going to give you the best. Thing. Let me just let me just say this. It was some of the most fun I've ever had, man. When you first asked me to come and, and do some reviews, I was like, wow, cool, all right. And then it became a thing that I looked forward to. Like, I think we started doing initially, what, what, on Tuesdays? Yeah. And I looked forward to every Tuesday night after work, man. It was like, yeah, cool. What are we watching tonight? And, and you know, and that's just, that's despite the fact that only on a few occasions did we actually get to watch the whole movie without you <laughs> tweaking with it while we're trying to watch it. <laughs> you know, listen, if, you are, you're, if you're in the home theater, that remote's going to be in your hand. You're always going to be changing settings all the time. Picture settings, sound settings, subwoofer settings. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. What year is it right now? 23? 2023. I mean, it was a six year. Post pandemic. And you finally hit that 100,000 mark. Thank you guys for... Uh, Hanging out with us all these years, six years, half a decade later, watching our videos, doing whatever, we're just you know, messing around, listening to speakers. And cables. Listen to the differences between cables. Yes, cables. Some of which the jury is still out, stupidly enough. We know. We trust our ears. We... Hey, watch your hands blocking my face there, dude. <laughs> watch, watch the hand movement. <laughs> I'm sitting here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Not complaining now. Here's a whole lot of booze. Oh, real here, real quick. Something, something. Thanks, guys. And for the first six years. And thanks, Elias and Bill, for hopefully many more years in this new place. So, as you can see, I'm no longer in the old apartment. I am in the new house. I'm just going to give you a quick little walkthrough of the space. As you can see, there's not much going on, going on in here right now. It's pretty much just an empty room but I know some of you guys are gonna to wanna to know how big the room is. So we're looking at about 14 feet wide by 24 feet deep. And height wise, it's pretty high. It's about 10 feet high. So the Atmos separation for the height, height effects, is gonna be pretty darn good. The last apartment that I was in, that room was kinda of small. 
it was, I think, like 13 wide by about 13 deep. So it was like almost a perfect square. And that apartment actually had some pretty good high ceilings as well. That was about nine foot high ceilings. So I'll get um, slightly better separation for the, for the surround effects in this room. And uh, as you can see, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna keep the Barbie theme. This room I think was a converted garage. They made it into a family room. So we're obviously going to seal off all the windows. I've got this big sliding bay, or the sliding door right here, which leads outside. And then we've got two windows on this side, which would be on the right side. There's one, two, two windows here. And then if we just swing around up to the front of the room, there is another window. And then there's a front door. So the door is gonna be sealed off and drywalled over. The windows are gonna be sealed off and drywalled over. And the sliding door is gonna be sealed off and drywalled over. So right now we're looking at, this is gonna be the front of the room. I'm gonna build a false wall, probably about three feet from this wall here. So that way I can put some speakers here. And then also it should be enough room to fit some subwoofers as well. Channel count wise, I do have the channel altitude 24 or 28. So I'm gonna to try to max out all 28 channels in this room. So I think it's long enough where I can foot, fit a bunch of those Sendo 6s just arrayed against the uh, side walls and also the back wall. And I'm also gonna go with like six height channels. So front, middle, and then rear. And then with waveforming, I'm gonna to try to incorporate the trend of waveforming as well in here, as well as the RVH 21 inch subwoofer. So that's also gonna be probably in the back of the room here. I'm gonna obviously have like a riser. So I kind of staged these seats. This is the front row where the front row would be. As you can see, we're about, I don't know. I might go back a little bit further to give me like a good six to eight foot difference from the screen. So right now I staged this right here. This would be like the second row. And there's like plenty of space to, uh, you know, get your feet up and still have plenty of room. There's like a few feet behind me. There's like another five or six feet behind the second row, which is gonna get some really good separation with the back row and also great separation with the, with the front row. And then obviously with the Trinov, I'm gonna have uh, two sets of surrounds. So there's gonna be a set of surrounds for the front row, a set of side surrounds for the back row. Then I'm gonna have some back surrounds here as well. Um, there's gonna be left, right, and then a center rear surround. And again, the, the RBH 21 inch subwoofer is probably gonna go like right here, center back of the room. And I might add, then I'm gonna also add some wide channels like I had the old apartment, and then three, you know, three LCRs uh, behind the screen. I haven't decided on which screen yet, so I've been working with Zach and the crew over at Dream Media on what screen I think would pair best in this room with the JVC NZ8, so that's gonna be in here. What's up guys, my name is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. We are an online store as well as a nationwide custom integration company that can help you build your dream home theater. As sad as we are to see Shane's old home theater go bye-bye, we are very excited to be a part of the new and exciting build. As you guys may have seen, Dream Media also has its own YouTube channel where we go to all of the industry leading trade shows and we're checking out all the best, latest and greatest audio video components so that you can make an educated buying decision when building your brand new dream home theater. We have a lot of different options to choose from on our YouTube channel from install videos to unboxing videos to review videos and then whole home tour videos giving you guys some inspiration as the things that you could do in your own home we're going to be assisting shane in building out his whole home theater featuring some of our favorite brands here at dream media so follow along and if you guys would like to purchase anything that you see on his channel be sure to reach out today for a free video consultation we do things a little different here at dream media yes we have an online store where you can just go shop all the industry leading brands but we like to go a little bit above and beyond we want happy customers if you look in every single state around the country we're five star rated and there's a reason it's because we like to get hands on with the design guys hand selecting the appropriate equipment can really cut back on headaches down the road so what we do is we take a look at the space your specific room as well as your budget and we hand curate a custom package 
for you. If you're interested in learning more about Dream Media or would like to schedule a consultation, you can either ask Shane or reach out today to the Dream Media family. Thanks Shane for having us on today and we'll catch you on the next one. You know, the Clyde Escape is gonna be here as well and media playback, maybe the Zidu or I still have the Zipi, so that's still gonna be here. So, I mean, I'm pretty excited for this space. I mean, there's not much to look at right now, but it's a pretty good blank canvas. Um, there's only gonna be like one entryway, which is gonna be this doorway right here. This actually leads into my kitchen. So I'm gonna design the kitchen in a way where it's, it doesn't feel so much like a kitchen. So it's gonna be like, like a natural extension into the theater, which I'll show you guys at some point in time after we renovate the kitchen. But maybe down the future, I might blow out this side wall so I can get a few more feet instead of having like a 14 foot wall, maybe blow it out to like 20 feet. Maybe I can add like a separate room for the equipment in that, in that portion of the, that side of the, uh, this room as well. But as of right now, I'm gonna put the equipment rack below this room, which is the basement. So my, I'm gonna have two racks, which goes into the basement and uh, it fits in this perfect cubby hole that fits two racks perfectly. So it's almost, it almost feels like it was designed for two audio racks. So that's gonna go below the room here. So nothing up here, it's gonna be pretty clean. Basically just the screen. 150 inch screen that's kind of like the max size where I can get almost wall to wall left to right and then fill up most of the well maybe not most of the height but width wise it's gonna go all the way and I'm gonna go 16 by 9 this time because let's face it there's a lot of Netflix movies there's a lot of Apple movies there's a lot of IMAX stuff coming out which is basically in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio so typically I would kind of opt for 22 39 to 1 so, so for the CinemaScope, which I've had for like, you know, like a decade, but this time around, since we are getting a lot more 16 by nine-esque movies, I'm gonna stick with that aspect ratio this way around and just see what it's like. I mean, even at the theaters, a lot of the stuff is like 16 by, nine at the, 16 by nine at the theaters with letterbox bars. So I'm gonna try to adopt that into this theater as well. And if I hate it, I'll just go back to the two, three, nine by one. But that's just a quick tour of this room. Hopefully the next follow-up video, this place is gonna be done. I can get back to doing 4K movie reviews for you guys. I can get back to reviewing some speakers, home theater gear, receivers, processors, stuff like that. So again, thanks guys for sticking it out with me for the past six, seven years now at the old apartment. I have moved on. We're in a much bigger space. So reviews are gonna be better. Movie reviews are gonna be better. Thanks guys, stay tuned. Like this video if you found it useful. Thank you, Elias and Bill, once again. Thank you to Nancy, my wife, who's handling the camera. You'll see more of her this year as well. And thank you again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.